Tom's tutorials. Today's brief lesson will be on annotating assignments. I'm guessing you're finding that as you use Edmodo more and more, I'm actually using it on a nearly daily basis, you'll find that you have a huge wall worth here of different types of assignments and different types of posts from kids. And so uh, one thing I want to run you through real quick is this the use of this button up here called Filter Post By. If you click on that, of course, you can see several options. You can choose by author, choose by students, choose by all kinds of different things. Well, right now, since I want to begin annotating an assignment, I'm going to click on Filter Those Posts By Assignment. And as you can see, the posts that's moved to the top are the assignment type of posts. So I'm going to click on Turned In here to show you something. Uh, over on the left side in the upper corner there is a, a box that you might want to pay attention to and it says show any status or all groups. This is a way to filter within the assignment. You can uh, choose all the students assam that assignments that you've actually graded already. Maybe you want to record those in your grade book. You can filter by students that have not turned in the assignment. You can filter by the ones who have turned in the assignment. These are the ones that uh, have submitted the assignments and they're waiting for you to grade them. Um, you can also filter by a particular group. Let's say I only want to look at maybe my fifth hour classes assignments at this point. You can filter them that way. So I do want you to understand that. But let's go back and roll through an actual example here. So I need to go to my dummy class. And I'm going to go ahead and filter those posts by assignments. And let's take a look at one assignment here. I want to look at better than yours. So I'm going to go ahead and click turned in. And as we can see, our fabulous student has turned in the assignment. So I'm going to click on that. And over to the right, you can see the uh, student has made a comment about this particular assignment. And then he has submitted it via his backpack. So this button here, as you can see by hovering over, it gives you the option to annotate that assignment. So we're going to click on that. And up pops the student's writing. This is everything that the student had to say. And then across the top there are a few different um, annotation tools for you. I'm going to admit right now that I haven't had success using the strikeout, the text, the highlight, or the draw, which bumped me out at first. I did try to uh, get some help from from Edmodo on that. and what we weren't able to figure out the problem but I am finding that the comment one on the left side is the most important to me anyway and it works excellently so that's what I'm going to show you right now by clicking this drop down tab you have uh, three different types of comments and the two that I really like to use are the point comment and the area comment so when you read through the students papers you're going to find probably some kind of a problem and I'm going to look right here and I'm going to drop a point comment and let that student know that there might be an error somewhere. Maybe you're going to read through and find another type of error and in this case I'm going to use an area comment. I, I like drawing little squares around things sometimes. Um, oops and I will just click right there and I'm going to, to drop a note for the student. And as you're reading down through, you might find another error or two, and then you have your choice if you want to use the point comment or the area comment. And oh, I found at least one more here, and so I'm going to click on that. And oops, let's do that again. Oops, I can delete that comment. Area comment. Uh, there's something not quite right here. And I'm all done. Uh, this is where it, it, it was a little complicated for me at first because I'm looking for a button to click done or save or something. Well, the way Edmodo has worked this out, and this is kind of scary, but you actually just go up and close the preview. Um, again, that worried me because I was thinking, well, you know, where did it go? I don't know. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. But I do want to go up and grade the student's assignment. I think I showed you before where, you know, instead of having to click here and then click here and put in, you know, the, the grade totals, I think I mentioned earlier that one nice thing is you can click on the assignment overview first and go ahead and set a default total so you don't have to do it for every single group. So I like, or every single assignment. I like to do that. I can go back to my find students here and as you can see that uh, default grade is already put in. And then I can go ahead and enter the student's grade, click grade, which kind of submits it. I'm going to let them know they did a super job on this. 
And glad you learned. And give me a little comment there. So that is a real quick lesson on how you annotate an assignment. Let's go back though, and I want to show you what it looks like from a student's perspective. So if I click, uh, and I'm logged in as that student, if we click on this example here, you can see his assignment is graded. This is one I did earlier. And the student can see that the grade that he or she has gotten on the assignment. And it also gives them an opportunity to see the annotation notes that I made on there. One thing I don't really like is that it doesn't come right out and tell the kid that the assignment's been annotated. So that's something you're going to have to work out as a teacher. Maybe that's a, a tip you can share with me. But you can train your kids to look at this button here, and it's a preview button. If they click on that, an assignment that they might have done earlier, or the one you just annotated for that matter will pop up and then all the annotation notes that you wrote down for them will be in this little preview window so if you've got tips for them or pointers any comments that you made um, you can go ahead and show those to your students so that's about it for today if you've got any suggestions of uh, topics that you'd like me to cover you know, I'd be happy to do that. Just maybe make a comment in the YouTube comment section and I will try to tackle that one for you. Thanks again for checking in. Have a great day.